Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Bangladesh, like any other developing economy in the world, has been witnessing a construction boom, transforming its landscape. The rising consumption of materials and huge demands in the construction sectors in the country bring various opportunities and challenges. Logistics becomes a key opportunity as the natural resources and materials must be moved across locations. Safe and efficient transportation techniques, along with timely availability, are the key factors when looked at from a bigger perspective in the sector. While road infrastructure is not par, and with numerous water bodies, Bangladesh focuses on sea transportation. Daily, thousands of tons of sand and minerals are transported for ongoing development, and demands are predicted to increase in the near future. Boats, majorly used for sea transportation, need to be protected via the abrasive nature of the sand through a wear-resistant lining. It is fairly common to see diesel-powered engines from old buses and trucks being used. Since it does not require gears other than moving forwards and backward, the engine is directly connected to the propeller by a fixed ratio reduction gearbox. Initial positioning and proper anchoring of the boat are essential for easy access to the pumping system. A better pumping system makes the process more convenient and more manageable. Usually, a pump with adequate capacity is selected to handle the large volume and density of the sand and water mixture. Manually, the suction hose of the pump is dropped into the riverbed at the chosen extraction point. As the pump starts, it draws a mixture of sand and water into the system. Initially, more water helps transport sand through the hoses in the system. The impeller, a rotating equipment, creates suction force, drawing a mixture of sand and water in the pump. Changing its physical characteristics, like diameter, may influence the flow of the mixture. The amount of sand being pumped into the mixture is crucial. A worker manually checks the amount of sand in the slurry by placing his hand at the exit hose. A pipe extension ensures even distribution of the sand, filling the boat to its capacity. The mixture pumped naturally settles while the excess water flows out through an opening.
while the heavier sand sediments settle at the bottom because lighter water stays at the top. Over time, water at the top becomes clearer as the sand settles at the bottom. The above water is usually siphoned off back to its original river source. Settled sand collected here is relatively dry and easy to handle and transport further. Sand, which has been meticulously collected, is ready to be transported to its destination. The next step is their voyage. The loaded boat sets sail, navigating through rivers, canals, and sea, following maritime regulations. While their journey is filled with challenges like waves, currents, and harsh weather, the crew constantly monitors the boat's stability and ensures a smooth voyage. Crew members sometimes compromise their overall well-being as they live in tight quarters and cook in confined spaces and resources. Upon reaching the destination, the boat is guided onto the river harbor, where the unloading process takes place. Before unloading, water is sprayed to fluidize the sand, making it easier to flow out without much friction. Before pumping, the hoses are strategically submerged in the sand-water mixture created. To make the process more efficient, workers manually adjust the suction pipes and spray continuous water, allowing sand to flow smoothly. As the boat tilts, sand naturally slides towards the lower side because of gravity, making unloading easier and reducing the need for manual efforts. Another crucial aspect is sand discharging, which requires careful consideration of the speed and the amount being transported, ensuring boat stability. At the unloading sites, various gunny bags are strategically placed to prevent contamination and material spillage. A powerful pump and suction hose are used to pump the slurry against gravity from the sea to a higher spot where it is unloaded.
the same procedure is repeated, with several tons of sand being unloaded daily, which will be used for construction, landscaping, or other purposes. After completing the unloading, the crew returns to its starting points to prepare for the next rounds of loading. Another division is minerals transportation, where large V-shaped vessel designs are used to collect and store bulk materials. Minerals, often in the form of ore sand or bulk material, are guided through a conveyor belt underneath the vessel. As the minerals move, a worker stationed near the vessel guides the falling material, ensuring even distribution to maintain stability during transportation. While the minerals are loaded and secured properly, the vessels depart from the port, beginning their journey toward the destination. No matter how challenging it may seem, this is the necessary effort required to transport thousands of tons of sand and minerals from their source to their destination. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.